everyone, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and welcome back to another Foundation Friday. Today's Foundation Friday, I'm going to be reviewing the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. Now, spoiler alert, I have been wearing this foundation all week long because I was really excited to try it and I'm so glad that I did because this stuff is pretty unique. You know, it's not your average liquid foundation because it actually turns in to a powder finish. So I have it all right now in my full face form and I did not set my foundation with powder. But look how mattified I am. I'm super matte. There is zero shine on me right now, even with all these bright lights. Now, before I tell you any more information about this foundation, let me show you exactly how I apply this so you could see how it turns from liquid to powder. Starting off, my face already has moisturizer. I'm just going to now apply my primer. I will be using the Hourglass Veil Primer. This is their mineral primer, oil-free, SPF 15, and it's one fluid ounce that comes in this really big, pretty bottle. I have used this before. I wasn't like crazy about it, but now that I've tried this mix with this foundation, they actually work amazing together. It does have a little pump, which you guys know I like. And a little goes a long way. Every time I use this, I keep putting on too much. Let's see if I can get it right this time. It's a very smooth feeling. And it just glides on. So don't pump too much. You do see a little bit of like a white cast. That could be the SPF maybe. But it doesn't affect your foundation. Alrighty, I am going to be using the color Sable. And I will be applying this with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. Going to apply some right on top. So here's about one good drip. Now let's see, perfect color. So that one pump kind of only got about one cheek. So I feel like I do kind of have to use a lot of this to get the coverage that I want. But we'll keep going. And a little bit more for the forehead. So here's the completed look with just the foundation all on its own. And I will say that for being a liquid powder foundation, it definitely does go from liquid to powder. I look extremely matte right now, absolutely no shine, and it's giving me a nice natural finish. Now it's almost kind of weird for me how it already looks like I've applied powder before applying powder. So you kind of don't have to wear a setting powder with this particular foundation. I don't think I'm going to apply any powder so I can show you guys how well this works without setting it with powder and just know that it could always get better if you do. So now that my foundation is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face. Now we're talking. So here's my completed face. I absolutely love the finishing result. I think it looks so pretty, so natural, and I just love how matte I am. Now I just checked the website for the first time actually, and I realized on the Hourglass Cosmetic website, it says this is their miracle foundation for oily skin. So it's the breakthrough foundation that absorbs oils, camouflages imperfections, and delivers a long lasting velvet matte finish. All of that information is very true. This revolutionary formula has been shown to reduce the appearance of blemishes, pores, and acne scars for naturally matte complexion, perfecting coverage that lasts. You guys are gonna see. The Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation does come in 22 colors, and there's two colors darker than my current skin tone. Now some of you might recognize the name Hourglass Immaculate because this is their new packaging for the bottle. I believe it used to be like in a big glass bottle, but now it's in this little squeeze plastic tube, which is very travel friendly. It's available at Sephora. It's $56 and you do get one fluid ounce of product. So it is currently 3.30 p.m. and I'm going to be wearing this foundation all day long and then I'm going to come back to show you how matte this foundation will actually keep your oily skin. And I'm back. It is now 10.30 p.m. So I've had this foundation for a total of seven hours. And look how amazing my makeup still looks. I usually get super shiny on my cheeks, on my forehead, but I have like a very slight little glaze. Like this is usually how my skin would look after maybe one or two hours with any other foundation. But seven hours later, this stuff is definitely immaculate. 
Now at this point, this is usually when I feel the need to blot my skin. I don't even feel like I need to, but I'm still gonna do it for the video. But I am gonna grab my oil absorbing sheets by Walgreens. And let's do this. Push right there. <laughs> this is crazy. Ta-da! This is the oil that came off my skin. This was barely anything compared to my other videos. Now, even though I did spread it along the entire sheet, it's not like extremely see-through like my other blotting sheets usually are because it's just full of oil. This is a great amount of oil after seven hours. So I will agree that this foundation does actually control the oil so you don't produce as much oil and it definitely keeps you matte all day. So my overall concluding thoughts would be that it does take a lot of product to kind of get the coverage that you want, or it might just feel that way. But I have learned that eventually it dries into a powder, therefore kind of giving you a little bit more full coverage than you might think from the initial application. So it kind of gets better with time. You do have to kind of apply it pretty fast because it is drying into a powder form, but then you don't actually have to wear a powder to set it. It looks so good. So if you are going to actually splurge and get a high-end foundation, this foundation is definitely worth your money. It's the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid to Powder Foundation at Sephora. Please just go get a free sample. That's what you should do. Go to Sephora tomorrow and get a free sample and let me know what you think. If you have tried the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation, please leave me a comment, let me know what you think and also let us know what type of skin you have oily skin, acne prone skin, dry skin. We'd love to know how it works on everybody. If you wanna be the first to know about what foundation I'm reviewing next, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. And come back next week. I post new foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday. So I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Man. This is, this is literally the best foundation ever. Drop.